Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel new and returning subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. It's Margie from the Budget Evolution where we have fun saving our money and in today's video we have to do our January monthly budget and oh boy am I like behind because I've been working and I'm sewing and I'm just like yes it, it's just it's crazy busy. This is, see, you guys haven't seen this with me because you have only, I only started, I think, in February of last year. So you really didn't see how stressed I get <laughs> during the winter time when it's costume time. So let's get started. We're using our Easy Cash Budget Extended Weekly Planner. I really do want to work on giving you guys videos that show you how we got to this point. Um, but it's just, I just don't have the time at the moment to do extra videos on top of the ones that I already have planned. So we are in the month of January. Our monthly goals that I'm setting for myself is let's see if we can hit 600 subscribers. Um, it's already like, I think the oh, eight days into the month. So, <laughs> and I'm already over 500. So thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed. I really appreciate you. Um, I'm not going to say it's a no spend month because when I do that, I tend to spend more. So I try to tell myself, I'm just going to try to see and not spend. And I've actually been doing pretty well. Um, and as you can see, as many no spend days as I can. Um, I also uh, talked about this in my, one of my other videos was is start savings that goes to savings. Like I start savings and it goes to pay for something. And I want to have a savings account where it's just savings. It's just in the bank, not an emergency fund. It's just savings. You know what I mean? I don't, I think you guys know, but I am doing a no spend household. And now some of you use household as, um, like your paper products and, uh, like it could be your self care products. I, we don't do that. Household to me is anything that I need for the actual house, like um, a new doorknob, um, like house maintenance kind of stuff. So I told my husband, we are doing a no spend on household. And the reason why is because in my last video, you know, we owe Cruise $324 before the 26th of this month. So we usually put $100 towards household. We're going to see if we don't spend that. Okay, so that's that's our goal to put at least one of those 100s towards that. I do have side muscle honey. M m oh boy, where did that come from? Side hustle money. I have a lot of side hustle money. I just have not had the time to go and video it. So this, um, right, let's just do our monthly paycheck. I don't put my side hustle in my monthly because I have no idea when I get paid. The reason why is because I get paid when I finish the costume and they pick it up. So and until that happens, I can't predict necessarily when that's going to happen. I could probably predict what I might get in the month, but eh, you know, I just kind of leave it out and let it be extra. And that's usually that goes towards all of our challenges. Okay. So our paycheck changed. Yes. Paycheck number one is now 1127. And that is a difference of, let's get our calculator out. Oh, excuse me. So we, it was 1165 and now it's 1127. So we are a $38 difference. And the reason why is insurance, health insurance. So our health insurance went up and yeah, and we take the brunt of it, you know, just nothing you can do about it. Oh, and I did up my HSA. So it's a little of both. Uh, the other thing is, is my husband gets a raise. Now this is an estimate. So we think it's going to be 2059 and that would be an increase of minus 1989 a $70 increase in Social Security um, so with that minus the 38 we're probably only going to get an increase of $32 actually no we're not because I get two paychecks in the month so that's 1127 and yeah there goes the extra <laughs> I think we're down 
minus 38. Yeah, we're down like six though. <laughs> it, it don't matter. We'll figure it out. It's going to be a tight week, um, a tight month for us in the sense of our actual budget, but not um, when our side hustle money comes in. So we have 1127, 2059, and 1127. It's nice to see the numbers change a little bit, um, you know, because you went through the whole year and my numbers stayed the same the entire year. <laughs> I guess it was pretty boring. Um, we're at 4313 for the month of January. Realize this is our net pay. This is after we pay for um, our health insurance. It's our four, my 401k. Um, what else comes out of there? Oh, my loan. I have a personal loan that comes out of there and my HSA, obviously. So, um, oh, and our taxes. So I have my property taxes taken out and put into a separate bank account. I have just for property tax. So when property tax happens every quarter, I know I can write that check because it's a big one. It's like, uh, I think it's a, it's almost $2,400 every quarter. So that's a, that's a lot. And we even have a, a freeze on our taxes. Um, and it's still, that, that the, that's a lot of money. It's more than our mortgage used to be. But, so that's already taken out. So this is what we're using after we take those things out. So let's get going because this is going to take a long time. Well, not, maybe not a long time, but I pre-filled it out. So all we have to do is put numbers in. Electric is still 115. Homeowners insurance is still 185 internet is still 60. We are talking about possibly changing to T-Mobile business because I have a business obviously and we could probably get that down about $30. So we're, we're talking about it. I told my husband to wait until after costume season and then we'll talk about it. Um, water is still 53 holding strong. <laughs> my daughter's pay, uh, J pay. Now realize these are bills for February, not January, because we are already a month ahead. Um, so we're just piling this money up so we can take it out at the end of the month and put it into the bank. So the February bills are paid. Uh, J pay is still 400. She did not get a raise. <laughs> she only gets a raise when I get a raise and I didn't get a raise. Um, Capital One, we have going uh, extra savings for my daughter, you know, for things like, she just told me, she goes, Mom, could you pay for my SNAFA dues? Or, I don't know what you, anyway, it's like two over $200. And I'm like, uh, do I have a choice? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Health insurance is 122 Car insurance is 224, so it did go down. I told you it was really weird. Like it was, I, I it had three different amounts at three different points, and it's only six months. So I, I don't know what they do. It was 231 last month. It's 224, and it'll stay 224 until I think May or June, something like that. Tolls went finally down to 25 because we are not driving anywhere. Um, T-Mobile is our cell phones that stayed the same. It's 252 natural gas also stayed the same. Um, this probably won't adjust until close to the summertime, sometime around the summertime, if it goes up or down based on our usage and our monthly subscriptions did go down to 31 because we took my daughter's Spotify account, my Spotify account, and then my husband said he wanted to be part of the Spotify. So we got a family plan. Um, all right, let's calculate this up fifteen seventy six fifteen seventy six and we deduct that from our forty three oh no, no I gotta start with forty three fifteen fifteen seventy six is twenty seven thirty seven okay cash envelopes um, is usually we keep it the same the my I think groceries have just gotten so expensive that um, my husband has almost already used all of the grocery money now he did buy all of the meats he said we don't have to buy any more meat for a couple weeks um, I'm not exactly sure but groceries has gotten very expensive so that might have to be bumped up uh, we will see 
uh, I'll wait till after this month because nothing's happening this month. We're not like doing anything or doing parties where we would need extra groceries. So I want to see how much he really does need to spend this month. Okay, so I I get a hundred dollars for the month. My husband gets a hundred dollars for the month. Groceries we're going to keep at four hundred for the time being until we kind of see what happens after this month. Household is we're going to give it its hundred and hopefully we don't spend it. Uh, gas is going to be a hundred. My husband and I don't really travel far. My husband's retired and I only travel like twelve miles round trip to work. Uh, dining is now a hundred. Now I moved puppy and I added date night and I moved it to sinking funds. I was like, well, that's not really a cash envelope. So I'm just going to leave it out. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? $900. And that leaves us with 1837. If you are thinking of doing a budget, one of the things that I would tell you to try to do ahead of time is track your expenses. Um, this book, in this book, we have an, uh, this extended tracker, and I would start tracking all of my expenses: everything on your debit card, everything that you pay out in cash, everything that you pay on your credit cards. Write down all of your bills. Just start jotting every single thing that you do with money. You, your spouse, if it's just you, then it's just you. Anybody who is in your household that contributes towards your bills, put it down. Write it down. Because to set up a budget, you need to know those numbers. So I would suggest for you guys, if you're thinking about doing a budget, that's how to start. Start tracking everything that you do. It is also an eye opener to see how much money you spend on just stuff, stuff that we don't need. So that's my little twerk. You know, I will do a video at some point. I'd like to do a video where I show you how I came up with my numbers and how I calculated them out. But for the time being, I suggest you just start tracking. Because tracking, just being aware of what you're spending is a big deal, is a huge deal. And it, it makes you think, it's like, oh God, did I really need that? Oh man, we spent a hundred dollars and I couldn't even tell you what we really spent it on because it's a, just a cash goes in and out. I could tell you when, before I started budgeting, my, we would get a rebate. Say you get your rebate at the end of the year, you know, your income tax rebate. And it say it was like $2,000, right? Well, my husband has now spent that $2,000. I have spent that $2,000. And then somewhere along the line, we've spent it a third time. So that's $6,000. So, and then six months later, my husband will go, well, where's that $2,000 we got back from our rebate? So <laughs> I will tell you, write it down, track everything. That is the first thing in budgeting, in being aware of your finances. Take control write everything down. You don't have to get upset about it. You don't have to, it's just to be aware of how much you spend in different categories and where you might be able to, you know, spend more and areas where you know you can spend less. So that is the first thing. Okay, going into my sinking funds, I have um, prescriptions and medical. We are now upping to 40 because it is the beginning of the year. So obviously I have a deductible. I actually have a $3,000 deductible. That's why I put money into an HSA um, because it, to come up with $3,000 at January. Now say I had to have a procedure, you know, January 2nd, I have to pay that deductible. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Health insurance is outrageous. So uh, car maintenance is 50. Life insurance, we are doing uh, 26. This is due in, uh, I think March. So we're almost there. Utilities authority is 30. DMV, we have three vehicles that we pay registrations for is now 15. Yearly subscriptions is 34. J house is the money we put aside for my daughter's uh, rental property. So I am putting $400 away. We just figured out how much we need after her loan runs out because she gets a supplement to her loan for school. Uh, yeah, we have to come up with 900, uh, well, $1,000 for, 
$4,000 to be exact for May, June, July, and August. So I think what we're going to do is the money that my husband takes out of his 401k every year is going to have to go to her schooling. Uh, skiing, my husband is getting, he actually went skiing already once for the one day that it snowed in Pennsylvania. Um, so he went skiing, He's, his trip is coming up at the end of the month or beginning of February, so he wants a little extra money. We are now starting back on our emergency fund because we depleted it. We also depleted our renovations fund, so we are working on that. We do have a rental property in Maine that we have to pay property tax on, so we are just going to give that a good old $5 bills. I am going to start putting money into my low priority sinking funds. So this one's going to get 135 and we will get to do the um, randomizer for that because this one we're going to take all fives out. Puppy is still 60. We might want to start bumping that up because he should go to the vet and get his teeth done. And date night. My husband and I do not plan date nights and I thought it's about time we do. Okay, so I mean, we do go out to dinner because we do have dining, but sometimes that's like he goes out with his friends, I go out with my friends, but sometimes we forget to go out together. <laughs> so let's see. That is 9.35. Now we take the 18.37 minus the 9.35 and we get 9.02. Sounds like a great number. <laughs> um, until we get down, and now this is the whole month that we get to put that away. If we didn't have to pay for my daughter's stuff, man, I mean, we could save a lot of money. Uh, extra, we're gonna take out 9.02 first. We're gonna take out our extra payment that we're putting towards our um, my personal loan. So this is 2.37. And that leaves us 665 for challenges. We do two months ahead for the three different paychecks. We do $20 for each week. So that's $60. And then we minus 60. That gives us 605 for the month for challenges. That does not include our um, side hustle money. So if we take 902 minus the 665, that gives us the 237. 237 from 237 is going to be zero. So our income was a total of 4313. Our bills are 1576. Cash envelopes are 900. Sinking funds are 935. Challenges is 665 and debt is 237. Hopefully this comes out because we are working on a zero-based budget. 1576, 900, 935, six, whoops, six, five, and 237 gives us zero. Yay. Alrighty. So um, the other thing that's happening this month is my daughter's birthday. She's turning 23. What a stinker. I, I, you know, if you have children, it's amazing how quickly they, they grow up. For a while, it's kind of slow because you're just like, you know, you're running around, you're not getting any sleep. <laughs> it's just like, then, they're, then they're walking and you're just chasing them around. And you're like, I can't wait till they do this and I can't wait till they do this. Well, guess what? By the time they get to my daughter's age, when they're 23, it's like you, you stop saying, I can't wait. You start saying, slow down, stop growing up. <laughs> well, she won't be coming home for her birthday. She's still away at college. It is her last semester of classes. Thank goodness. <laughs> but she still has another year of rotation. So hopefully if you haven't been around my channel, my daughter is going to pharmacy school. She's going to be a doctor of pharmacy. Yes, I'm very proud. And no, I had no clue that that is something that I even inspired my daughter to do. But I am very proud of her. We are very proud of her. Okay. That is our budget for the month of January. If you have any questions about how to do a budget until I get those videos out, 
always feel free to ask me those questions in the comments and I will do my very best to help answer them. I am not a financial advisor. I am just somebody who is working on her own financial uh, goals and um, trying to get ahead and, you know, have a nice retirement, just like everybody else. Um, but I do have I've learned a lot and I hope I can pass that knowledge on to somebody else. I'm still trying to pass it on to my daughter, but you know, you know, kids, they don't want to listen. <laughs> I wish I did this at my daughter's age, because if I did this at my daughter age, my daughter's age, I'd be retired right now. And I'm not that old. I'm only going to be 56 this year. So I'm pretty young and I would have loved to have been retired by the time I was 55 and you know. You live and you learn. I'm doing it now. You should too. Okay, so that is it. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. And um, if you really liked it, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing, it's free. And if you wanna tell somebody else about it, share it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.